Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk a bit more about linear equations with one variable. And let's quickly have a look at the topics. So first, what I'm going to do is to review the linear equations. And I mean, I have covered the basic ideas of algebra, which describes what is a variable, what are expressions in much more detail in the videos for lower classes like class six and seven. In this, we build upon that. But before doing that, we will just have a quick review of the basic concepts in linear equations. And after that, we will fo be focusing the entire series of videos on applying linear equations in one variable, applying this concept to many situations. So essentially, we are going to solve many, many linear equations in this set of videos. Now, let us quickly review the basic concepts that have been discussed in detail earlier. Now we need to understand the first concept is what do we mean by an algebraic expression and what do we mean by an equation. Now when I have a look at some of the expressions, for example, we have let us say x square, then we have xy or we have a square b square plus c then we can take some more expressions like 3x plus 4 now all these if you have a look at it these are known as algebraic expressions that is they just have the variables and constants how are they different from equations the main difference between expressions and equations is that equations have an equal to sign. So if I were to change this 3x plus 4 equals let us say that 1, then this becomes an equation. So this is the basic difference between an expression and an equation. Now what do we mean by equations in one variable, two variable or more variables? So if so let's look at some specific examples. Let's take first um, equation where we say that 3x plus 4 equals 1 and I'm just taking the earlier one. Now here you see a variable simply represents an unknown quantity and if I look at this equation, how many unknown quantities are here? 1 and therefore that is just a single variable. Therefore, I would term this equation as an equation with a single variable. Now we can also have an equation which says AB plus 4 equals let us say 10. Just one equation. Now how many unknowns are there? In this case we have two unknowns AB right and therefore this is a equation in two variables. Now we could have equations in more variables. For example, the number of unknowns if you have three. For example, you may have a square plus b square plus c square is equal to zero. Now this is an equation which has three variables a, b and c they are unknown and therefore this is an equation in three variable, an algebraic equation in three variables. Having said that, the, the whole chapter here is about linear equations linear and so it's important to understand what do we mean by equations that are non-linear which perhaps helps us to appreciate what do we mean by linear to be essentially linear equations are very they make our task much more easier and this is something that you will learn to appreciate as you uh, get involved in solving more and more complex e equations and particularly when you look at how do you solve non-linear equations so linearity is a beautiful concept. Now, uh, to put it in numbers or to put it into concept, let us look at an equation um, which says uh, 3x plus 4 equals 1. Now, this, this is the earlier equation. Now, what is the power of x over here, the height of power? So x is raised to 1, right? That's it. However, if we have an equation which has x squared plus 4 equals 0 if we have an equation like this in this the power of the variable is 2 therefore this is not a linear equation it is a non-linear equation so essentially to keep in mind 
the linear equation is an equation in which the power to, of the variable is equal to the 1. That's what we need to keep in mind and that is what will be a linear equation. Now having discussed this basic concept, so let's just try to look at what are linear equations. Now this is an example of a linear equation as you all know. So just to reiterate, x is the variable here. So in this equation we have one variable which is x. We also have an equality sign which is kind of required in an equation. So this is an equality sign and this whole thing taken together is what forms our linear equation. And the reason why we would call it as a linear equation is mainly because the highest power of x here is 1. Right? Having said that, let us try to understand what do we mean by a solution to a linear equation. Now how do I solve this linear equation? So what do we mean by solution? Solution is that value of x for which this statement holds true. And that is what we mean by a solution. And we will find that there will be a value. So if I put some value in x such that the left hand side gets equal to the right hand side. And that is what will give us the solution. Now one of the things that we also discussed earlier is that the equations are balanced. Which means that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this property is very very useful for us to solve these linear equations. And we will be using that quite a lot when we solve the equations. In fact we have done some of these type of examples earlier as well. So how does the concept of balance within equations help us? The concept of balance helps us in a way that if we are doing any operation on one of the sides, for example on the left hand side, we must do the same operation on the right hand side as well. So if we were to look at let's say that I want to find out a solution for this equation, how do we proceed? We will try to isolate x and find out what is the value for x by trying to solve this. So what we will do is if I add 3 then the, the 3 goes out over here. So if, if I add 3 on the left hand side of the equation so we have 2x okay this should be 2x minus 3 plus 3 is what I am adding on the left hand side. However we have to maintain the balance of the equation. So whatever operation is being done on the left hand side must be done on the right hand side so we will add a 3 here as well. Now this 3 cancels out so we have 2x equals 10 so this is the next step now again we still have a 2 multiplied by x is equal to 10 so what we would like to do is to isolate this x so what we can do is if we divide the left hand side by 2 then we get x so what we will do is 2x divided by 2 however we need to do the same operation on the right hand, uh, right hand side as well so we'll divide 10 by 2. Now this gets cancelled and when I do divide this 10 by 2 we get 5. So x equals 5 is known as the solution of this equation. And it is a good idea to check whether the x is equal to 5 satisfies this equation or not. So, so now let's try to put the value of x equals 5 in this and see what we get. So we have this left hand side. So let us say 2 into x which is 5 minus 3. What do we get? 2 into 5 is 10 minus 3 we get 7. So you see when, when we put x is equal to 5 what we are getting is the left hand side of the equation gives us 7 which is nothing but the right hand side which itself is 7 and that is what we mean by solving an equation. Now in the coming videos we will be solving more and more problems based around linear equations in one variable. See you.